Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after contemplating the possibility of using up our Kingdom Invasion CD on Bihar. And you know what? I think we might as well. Yeah, it's a good kingdom for it, and also, once we take this, we'll have two holy sites, so we might as well expedite the process. Before I do that, though, I need to do some very quick vassal management, so if you'll excuse me. Alright, so I'm currently educating this child, but I don't know if it's possible for me to convert his culture nor religion? Oh my goodness. Anyways, um... Yeah, I might just demand his conversion, so maybe... That'll increase our chances of him converting cultures at least? Alright, um... 150 bucks to bribe? It's not too bad. We can actually make this back by doing some ransoms. Alright, sure. And now that should... Oh, Not even 69%. Unfortunate, but... Sure. Um, and this guy. So... I've done some thinking on this, and I'm still not entirely sure what to do. But, um, that's okay. We'll just go for it anyways. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. And then I can now ransom him for a hundred ducats. And before I do anything else... You, sir. I'm gonna revoke your title, and then ransom you for a hundred ducats. Fantastic. Alright, so a little trick that I discovered while um, doing a lot of vassal management is that rather than give the city holding away to someone who is a low noble, I can just give this guy everything. And then I think he will be basically forced to give the county away by himself, so I think that's how it works. At least, possibly. Now obviously, um, we will be capping out at 100 opinion, but that's fine. At least this way we can maybe get away with more uh, nasty stuff with this guy. Yeah. So he gets the extra 20 opinion, and since it's a city holding, I'm fairly certain the AI is just gonna give it away to, like, immediately. Possibly? Well, that's fine. And you know what? I... This might be a bit risky, considering that I'm giving him basically everything, and he can actually hold on to everything, but, um... I want to see if there's a... Uh peaceful way of doing vassal management. Yeah, this might take a little bit longer, but I don't know. I think it could be cool if we can maybe figure out a system where we can not do the same old vassal management that I always do, which is just completely going apeshit and just killing everyone. But anyways, um, I think we will now declare our kingdom invasion. Bihar, I hope you're ready. You're not Bihar. You're Bihar. All right, good sir. Kingdom Invasion for Bihar. Okay, so... We... Just need to siege down everything except for... Sasaram, which I think is their capital. Kusinagara... Mithila... And Mudagiri. Yeah... Alright, let's do it. And we can only do this once per lifetime. Sure... Okay! Um, actually, if we can get them to attack us and then we lose some uh, war score, that might give us some more leeway to capture these places down. Yeah, may not be a bad idea. Um, though, I guess it's better to just avoid any contact whatsoever. All right, sure. And I'm just going to make sure that we have all the... Siege leaders and whatnot available. Perfect. Okay, cool. And that's gonna take how long? Five months. All right, sure, I guess. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that I need to worry about right now. Yeah, I think we're fine. Let's do this. Five months of waiting. I can just about manage that. All right, good. So he is Freya Kula. Fantastic. Can you please find it in your heart to maybe convert to uh, being Norse as well? And this guy has also converted. Fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna see if we can maybe... Ah, uh, okay, so your heir isn't just your son anymore. Wait, he's still gonna get the... Uh, duchy title, I guess. Alright, so I suppose we might as well... Get him to convert. Yeah, I think that's good. Fantastic. And four months to go. Great. Absolutely. Come on, guys. 
Can we uh, recruit a little bit faster? And Runaria will apparently leave. Sure. I don't really care too much, I guess. Or do I? Whoa, okay. Who died? Marshall. Unfortunate. Ooh. Would this guy... What if I were to employ him as my Marshal? A 91% chance of success. Alright, four months until that uh, swing is done. Okay, so I guess we might as well wait until the swing is done. See if that's um, something that we can squeeze him, squeeze out of him. What is going on? What are you doing? Why are you leading troops right now? Is something happening here? Oh, sorry, no. Don't do that. Please don't do that. What is happening with you guys? Stop doing that, damn it! Okay, buddy. I don't think so. Can you not, like, right now? Thanks. Unbelievable, that guy. Bitch mother come light my bottom. I will annihilate you. Somehow. I'll find a way. And are you actually involved in this? You're not, right? No, she's in Gyalp's Lament. So... What is she doing? Oh, I guess maybe she's doing an activity? Like celebrating or something? That might be it. Yeah... Okay, that's fine then, I guess. Alright, so we'll get the organizer in there. And he'll set out as soon as we are... Done recruiting our troops here. Two months to go. Okay, I see a metric fuck ton of troops following those guys around. Ooh. Okay, no, I don't think so, miss. You're too expensive, thanks. Yeah, maybe once you've uh, lowered your prices somewhat. Then I'd be uh, contem... Sorry. Um, then i contemplate uh, hiring you. There we go. Alright, just in case they decide to get fresh with me, I'm gonna uh, send a bigger stack over there. So we will be somewhat over the supply limit, but I'm okay with that. All right. Um, you know what? Just send me in there, and then I will uh, split apart once we arrive. I guess. Sure, go for it. And what else do we want to do in the meantime? Yeah, no, we're never gonna raw ransom those guys ever, ever. What? I'm sorry. What? Okay, um, I guess she was given a minor title? Hey, and this guy has, uh, been swayed more. Fantastic. All right, sir. Thank you very much, and now that you have converted, I will replace you with someone more suited to the position here. There we go. Much better at this job. Fantastic. And, uh, of course, we will be... ...is commanding another army. The fuck do you think you're doing right now? Stop this immediately. You! Scrymer's Throne, stop this right now. I need my people to uh, support me in these sieges, so if you could stop fucking doing that right now, that'd be great, thanks. Buddy? Atta boy. Good grief. What a. Unwashed nutsack. Alright. Send one stack up north, and of course... Siege leader. Um... I'm going to operate under the assumption that you haven't heard that the uh, war is over for you guys now. There we go. Good grief. Okay, and you know what? I might as well put you in there. Fantastic. And how long is this gonna take? Seven months! Good grief. All right, my steward is done with her culture promotion. 15 years to increase the development in Utgard. Oh, unfortunate. Wait, is it because we have the limitation to our culture? What's our current existing uh, development penalty, by the way? Uh, maximum at 10, and then each era Increases it significantly. Right. All the way up to 90. I see. Okay, so let's not worry about that right now then. I guess we might as well flip the culture somewhere else. I think there's actually some pretty high development around the Ganges area. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so let's do... Maybe if we can change the culture of his capital. We can also change his culture farther down the line or something. You know what, we'll just go for this one. It does have the slightly higher uh, development, so we might as well, I guess. And of course, this is still going to take 50 million years and a half. Bleeding out. I'm sorry, why is he with me, my friend? I'm inspecting the barracks infirmary when a severely injured soldier is brought in. She's losing too much blood. Where's the physician? Arm Bjorna is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be this woman's only hope. Suddenly, as if he stepped out of thin air, my friend, who is the king of another realm, is at my side. He's just casually, uh, it's like, what are you doing in my kingdom? <sighs> Sir, <laughs> thank you for uh, stepping in, I guess, but what the fuck, dude? Um, he rolls up his sleeves and looks at me. Step back, she's my patient, so we have a chance of getting a fair bit of a learning experience, or I can get a strong hook on her. Um, I don't see the need for that, thanks. I would rather, yeah, take the chance of gain 100, uh, 300 uh, experience points. Yay! My patient screams and thrashes, even though three grown women weigh her down. Every step of the way is a battle, but my knowledge does not fail me, and my hands remain steady as my devour mom's spaghetti. I'm uh, not sure how it managed, but in the end, it seems that the soldier will live. Her comrades pat me my back. Decorum lost to relief. Thank you, my lord. We would have lost Skjaldvjör without you. You're welcome. Fantastic. Okay, um... And anything else? So far, it's been somewhat uneventful, which I guess isn't too bad, but... What the shit? What the hell? What, just because she's ambitious, we lost some, uh, fervor? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Ugh. Worst experience. Whoa, nice. We got city planning. Fantastic. And we're about two months away from that. Oh, I guess I don't need to sway this guy anymore, do we? No, he is Freya Kula. So let's worry about someone else then. Who else is a pretty powerful vassal who is not of my religion? Maybe I can sway her? Okay, so this guy's Shyvite, which is... Ah, let's sway this guy. Yeah... Maybe we can get him to convert eventually. At some point. Somewhere down the line, I guess. Uh, what are you guys doing? Okay, so I guess they're vacating the premises. Sure. And we are about done with that. Fantastic. Let's have you move on to... Rothas without taking any attrition, please. And we're almost done with this as well. About a week left. Sweet. You guys can go up north, I think. Yeah, I'll be checking this map mode every now and then. Um, I know we have... Oh, that's another place that we don't need to siege down. Interesting. That wasn't one of our... Or maybe he just took it recently or something. Weird. Wait, so how come we don't need to siege that down? Interesting, I guess. I mean, maybe not that interesting, but somewhat. Sure. And we're about done with this, I guess. Four days to go. Fantastic. Now, this, I might seem a little anal with the whole pausing and whatnot, but I need to uh, maximize the uh, speed at which we capture all these places, because if we hit a 100% war score too soon, then we won't be able to capture everything. And we need to, like, time things correctly, I think. Um, now we will be within the supply limit, but I think we can actually split these guys in twain. And someone is trying to kill Bragi. What? Why? He's a nice boy. Leave Bragi alone. Unbelievable, people. Good grief. All right, we are capturing some, uh, yeah, some people here and there, which is great. And... Good, we have siege leaders everywhere. Perfect. Alright, leave half and let's send... Oh, right, because it's adjacent to our um, allies' territory. It doesn't count as a... Uh, well, a difficult uh, place to move through. Do we have any other siege leaders at all? No? Oh, sadness. Sadness abound. I will cry myself to sleep tonight. Not that I hadn't planned on doing that anyways, but you know. Especially so now. 
Ugh, just the worst. Okay, so Jonpur is still not needing to be sieged down. Fantastic. I'm actually really glad that this map mode exists. Um, can you... What? Runaria? You? What are you doing? Faffing about in Noah Tun. Oh, she buggered off because of, uh... Right. What? Only 18% of imprisoning her? Dang, Nabbit. Uh, don't attack my troops, alright? We want you to, um, not have any, uh, negative war score from fights, please. Thank you. What are you doing? Are you trying to siege that back down? Because that's a big no-no, sir. That is a big, big no-no. Okay, what are you doing? You're attacking Mlecha. Hmm... For what exactly? Wait, wait, wait. What's the war for? Oh, okay, so that's a part of... I see. Do we want to help her with this? You know what, I guess we might as well. Yeah, cause the more that Alfheim expands, the easier it'll be for us to... basically take everything once we absorb them into our own empire, right? I think so... Possibly? Hmm... But you're gonna spend... 750 prestige if you do that, so what if I just join the war for you? Alright, so then she doesn't use the prestige and she will be better off, question mark? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I didn't really need to, but... Eh, it's fine. I do like getting involved in my family's wars and all that jazz, so I'm fine with it. Okay... Um... Thankfully, we don't need to worry about the... Right in uh, Mudagiri, but we will clear it out for you, I guess. Yeah, we need to deal with that for sure. For sure. So once we take that and um, take this, I think we'll, what I'll do is merge up our troops and go attack these dudes. Or we could maybe see if we can leave it to the very end or something, I guess. Yeah. Because like I said, we need to make the uh, best use of our time here. Alright, so Midagiri is still not one of those places that we need to siege down. Hmm... I guess we should go this way, right? Yeah. But once we have that... Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll wait for these guys to... be done with this. So let me switch this out a little bit. Oh, oh, sorry, my, my bad. Sir, sir, my bad. Uh, clerical error. There we go. Much better. Although, I don't think it really makes that much of a difference, does it? No. Alright, sure. An embarrassment. While spending some time with him, my friend, Reynida, discovered that Duke Bahavesh and I have a tense relationship. However, while attempting to convene Bahavesh, a Bahavesh of my virtue, see, she seems to have made things worse. What? Okay. Um, I don't know why he's being so upset about this, but... Sure. Oh, he's a powerful vassal now. I see. Hence the problem. Gotcha. Alright, these guys are almost, uh... Well, not even close to seeing that down, but... Sure. Alright. We should be good. Get in there. And you know what? Put me in, coach. Fantastic. Okay, although we are somewhat lacking in supply, so something to potentially watch out for. Alright, so we need to seek down Gaia as well. Go for it. And it seems like their allies will not be supporting them. Interesting. Oh, he didn't become Norse. You sack of crap. Fine. Charismatic negotiator. That's nice. Alright, let's get the pedagogy and we can get open-minded soon. Hopefully at least. And a lot of prisoners to ransom. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, they're actually just buggering off. Nice. Very nice. So... That and that. Those two counties and we should be done sieging everything down. Perfect. Alright, get up in there. 
And you know what? What if we get a... Yeah, Reaver. So that we get there without taking too much attrition. Perfect. Actually, I'll get the Organizer to do that instead. And let's see if you can't get me to... Teach that down. Alright, sure. We can accept uh, 27 casualties. Aggressive attacker. Alright, sure. Sounds good. And how is Balraj, by the way? Still just doing his stuff. Nice. And you guys can't get married because she's been imprisoned. Why has she been imprisoned? I'm assuming she got captured during a war. Okay. And apparently uh, my aunt's been banging some uh, some dude. That's nice. Very nice. I mean, not great for you, but... Um, uh, Mazel Tov? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think she's very happy about that news, but oh well. I mean, not that she hasn't been aware that she's been cheating on her husband, but you know. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, so we're still only at 59% war score, which is perfect because then that means that we can potentially siege down more stuff. Yeah, that is good news. All right, siege leader, please. Um, no siege leader, I guess. You make me sad. Yeah, I guess not. That is unfortunate. At least none that's available. Hmm, that's fine. We can always switch these guys out once they're done with something else. Staring at the stars. From all my evenings watching stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds. I think I might have already uh, read this event uh, in this campaign before, but anyways. And reverse their course at different speeds, but seemingly in large groups. And also, they sometimes um, uh, form, uh, form the shape of uh, phallic objects. Or maybe that's just my mind uh, going that direction because I like to see phallic objects. I mean... Uh, uh, indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. My Maraj Puro hit does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be. The celestial rambles for the uh, Brahmins to know. Earthly focus. Gain some piety or gain 50 learning. You know what? Sure. I guess we might as well just get the opinion boost. Fantastic. And I'm assuming... Hmm. No ticking war score still. Nice. Very nice. Do we ever get ticking war score with the kingdom invasion? I guess if we can siege down the entire kingdom, then maybe? Although, I think we're getting fairly close with our um, war score. So I guess we might as well siege that down too, just in the off chance that we can make, maybe actually capture it. Um, sadistic, ambitious, or paranoid? Hmm. I don't know if sadistic is the way to go for Broggy. Ambitious? I mean, it's not bad. Certainly not paranoid, at least. Hmm. Now, I've been ambitious. Uh, Haystein's been ambitious. You know what? Just stay sadistic, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. But sure, stay sadistic. I wasn't actually hoping for uh, sadism with uh, Broggy, but oh well, that's all right. That is all right. Okay, maybe we can siege that down too? Yeah, see if we can get there. Although, once we take these two counties, I think that should be all she wrote, possibly. Oh, School Dia. Um, you're going with the learning education? I guess that's fine. Yeah, let's get Armbjorn to an uh, educator. Sure. And a lot of... Pr Whoa, my goodness. A lot of prisoners to ransom. We'll worry about that afterwards, I think, though. Yeah, because if we have captured any city-holding uh, people, then we can actually make a lot more money than just uh, ransom them uh, before we take their titles and all that jazz. All right, so yeah. Once we take the uh, last county here, that should be 100% war score. Fantastic. Okay, a bad omen. A local mystic insisted on seeing me, and upon being brought into my presence, uh, he started wailing, and is that blood on his hands? The signs, the signs are not in your favor, my lord. I spilled the intestines of a hen, and a blood, and the blood showed me a future. It's dark and full of death. Okay, well, I mean, that's true, because I deliver a lot of death. 
Um, but great. 100% war score. Nice. Are you actually leading troops? Because maybe we can capture this guy and then, um, earn a bit of dosh. Yeah, because right now we will be getting everything he owns, which is perfect, but maybe everything he owns isn't quite enough. If we can also get his money, that'd be great. Although, I think we might maybe end the war before the uh, Royal Rumble happens here. But... Can we put me in charge anyways, just in case we actually fight this guy? Oh, nice! I thought we'd be over with this, but I guess not. And I'm assuming we did not capture... No. You make me sad. You make me very sad, sir. I'll just cry myself to sleep tonight. Violently, too. Might as well. Okay, but I guess now we have captured that county too. Perfect. All right. Um, so we take everything and then some. Sure. Now, do we want to stick around for this too? That's going to be another four months. I don't know if we're going to be able to... I mean, that's not going to be siege down for another ten months. So I guess we might as well see if we can maybe... Get this going for longer, possibly. Though I think once the AI gets to 100% war score, they try to peace out as soon as possible. Okay. Nice. Although, would have been better if she was a genius. Alright, Sif. Um... Not bad. Wait. Uh, did we have another child named fairly recently? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go with Sif... Sifar Jana. Good name, bad name, terrible name. There we go. And he still hasn't pieced out, surprisingly enough. Wow. Interesting. I wonder how long I can actually just hold on to this for. I think I've said that like multiple times now. A kind word. My paths happen to... I've crossed with Count um, Abiyaza, and to my surprise, it seems as though he does not have a great impression of my friend. Perhaps I should take this opportunity to change his mind. Um, or I can lose a bit of stress. You know what? Sure. I guess I might as well see how this goes. I tried to paint the Queen Freyanita in the best possible light, and Count Abiyaza gradually started listening with greater and greater interest. He muttered, I never knew that, to himself, and I had made an impression. Yes, the seven-year-old kid had never known that Freyanita was hot shit. Wow. What the fuck was that? I'm talking to a, a seven-year-old kid about how my how great my aunt is? That's weird. And that's the war done. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's not... Let's not... Um, do anything with that man ever again. All right. I think I got everything. Holy crap. Did I miss any county at all? I'm just going to do a quick check. Make sure that everything is... Good to go. Seems like it's so far. All right, um... Sorry, just double-checking. What? Whoa, Nalanda University. Uh, special building, development growth, increase. Whoa. All right, so hold up this holding. Stewardship per level of fame, oh my god. And learning per level of fame, holy crap, holy. Um, some extra renown, monthly lifestyle experience. Building will, is currently uh, disabled, but will re enable next month. A university is a place of higher learning reserved for those of good standing and wealth who are deemed worthy enough. It attracts scholars and scientists who debate, study, scribe, and ultimately pull their knowledge within its walls. The Nalanda University is an important seat of Vedic scholarship and attracts students from as far away as Tibet and China. Holy shit! Oh no, this guy lost his territory! That's hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so do we now have a lot of... What? Send child to university? Oh my god, that's expensive. Wow, holy shit, that's cool. 
That is fantastic. Wait, can I do that with the uh, Broggy? Um, can I send you to university? I do not know. Um, okay. Maybe if I get rid of him as a uh, as a ward and then replace him again or something, perhaps. Uh, so we didn't quite get the uh, three places. So it definitely, um, there definitely is a time limit after you get 100% even with the uh, Kingdom Invasion stuff. Gotcha. All right, so let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and in between episodes, I'll of course um, give away all the uh, titles appropriately, etc, etc, etc. Though, I think we might have a lot of people that we can ransom now for a fuck ton of money because I'm pretty sure, yeah, like, for example, these uh, dudes here with the uh, 100 buckronies. Holy crap. We are about to make a lot of money off this. Fantastic. Alright, so I'll uh, decide on who gets to uh, live and who gets to uh, be, you know, our next, um, or our first human sacrifice or something for our uh, gruesome festival or something, I guess. Maybe after we're done with these wars. And then we'll see what to do next. I might actually go help my friend with uh, Pratihara first, and then afterwards go deal with Mlecha. Yeah, we might do that. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!